Hi guys, welcome or welcome back. Um, just playing around a little bit and testing things out with uh, with the telescope. This was uh, images I got from uh, uh, April 23rd and uh, basically using uh, Registack 6 to process uh, uh, the AVI videos generated by my next image 5 camera and uh, I'll get through how how I actually process this in a second um, so basically the, the started out with the the actual capture which is uh, uh, the AVI itself and um, uh, seemed to work out fairly well although we did have some atmospheric disturbance then I did a processing and uh, the standard stuff that was on the internet the numbers and then uh, increase the uh, the processing as it goes along here and as you notice it gets a lot sharper anyway I'll take you into uh, Registack 6 and show you okay so bringing up uh, Registack 6 and uh, I'll show you real quick how I actually process these videos into the uh, the still shots so I go in, I select my file, um, I'm just going to pick one at random here, um, number 7, uh, these were captured uh, on the 23rd of uh, April, so anyway as you see uh, it's kind of a fuzzy looking picture, um, does uh, show everything, so uh, here in Registax basically you set the alignment points it gives you a whole bunch of uh, spots on the uh, on the screen showing what it's going to align um, that's quite a few points so I'm going to just hit the align button for the simplicity of processing it and um, this is where it can take a little bit of time depending on the uh, speed of your computer I'm running a, an i7 uh, quad core so it should be fairly quick um, and I'll just talk my way through it um, so anyway as it's it's processing it can take uh, depending if you've got a slower machine it can take um, two three maybe five minutes uh, to, to run through uh, whereas mine uh, usually does it in uh, under a minute kind of thing. Um, the only settings I change will be um, in the wavelet settings and I'll get to that in a second. So it's going through the alignment process. You see down on the bottom it's showing 80%, 85, 87, just about done total number of frames that we're using is 551 in the AVI and it has chosen to use uh, uh, well it, it's processing uh, 381 and I think it's chosen uh, 111 frames in total that it's going to use I hit my limit button it will show me the, uh, uh, the limiting areas and from that point you just simply hit stack and uh, again it'll show down here on the progress bar that it's stacking and uh, again on my machine it's fairly quick okay so now we have the uh, the image itself I'm going to uh, actually hit the uh, show full image button this way we have the whole thing on here you know this is, it's a little dark on the back side um, but it does look like it's out of focus um, you know and that's uh, uh, partially due to the the atmospheric disturbance and so on and this is where the wavelet stuff comes into play so I click on wavelet and uh, it gives you this other nice uh, uh, graph on the side here um, with your settings now you may have um, encountered um, previous settings on the on the internet and uh, basically called moon stacking and it gives you the numbers of 15.3 12.2 uh, 7.3 6.1 4.8 and 1.8 and uh, if you noticed uh, this area here got a little bit clearer when we hit that uh, 
button and that's kind of the preview area if I click over here it'll put the preview area it's actually a box you can't really see it too well uh, maybe I can show it to you by moving the contrast a little bit um, just so you can see um, that's the, the process area so I'm just gonna put that back uh, to where I want it because I'm not going to do any uh, contrast work right now uh, just get it right back on a hundred there we go and you can adjust the contrast and the brightness a little bit if you want afterwards but anyhow so these are the process areas so if we now hit do all it will do the entirety of the um, the photograph and as you see um, uh, it did improve it a whole bunch but I'm not quite satisfied the detail uh, around the craters and so on it could be better so um, basically what I have done uh, is doubled these numbers up so I have uh, saved myself a uh, moon stacking 2 scheme and I hit that one and I'll reprocess it and you notice now that there's a lot more detail showing up around the craters these hills um, you know and, and it does look a lot better um, and if you want to push it a little bit you know you can see some of the small craters in here now uh, I'm going to do a third one which I'm basically uh, cranking these numbers up again and uh, going up by another third or so and um, uh, let it run through and as you see, it, it does indeed bring out the, uh, the smaller craters. There's a lot more detail involved in it. So um, for me, this is uh, a fairly decent image. And uh, at this point in time, this is basically where you go ahead and save it. So um, in my processed uh, uh, video there that where I show process one two and three so that's exactly what I'm doing is going through the first uh, set is the actual original one that I got off the internet there the the 15 uh, and then uh, adding uh, or doubling it up and then adding it uh, again for the third one so second one doubled third one add the same amount again so for, for me that looks pretty darn good you can see um, a lot of the, the finer detail the ridges the mountains um, you know it, it really does process everything through and I'm kind of happy with that so from that point just simply uh, click save image and then you call your file whatever you'd like to call it uh, and I'm just going to call it uh, moon from video number seven and since I already have it there I'm just going to hit OK and overwrite the existing so that, that's basically it in um, uh, Registax uh, 6.1 and uh, show you the rest of my images now back we go now looking at some of the images um, they don't always turn out uh, as planned anyway uh, this particular one, even though it uh, looked fairly decent, um, the atmosphere did get me. Uh, so even after I did process it, um, it was still a little bit on the blurry side. And of course, this is where we take more images than we need. And uh, hopefully, uh, out of uh, the big bag full, we uh, managed to pull uh, a few decent ones out. Um, and. Uh, it never works out uh, as as planned. Uh, that's the one thing about uh, shooting through the atmosphere. Um, not always uh, the best thing, but it does work. Um, so uh, I did have a lot of fun doing this, though, and figured I'd share these with you. And uh, as you see, some of them did uh, uh, turn out very well. So I kept on going with it. And then uh, I did try uh, getting a little closer uh, through the, uh, the Barlow lens on there to uh, try to get um, some, uh, there we go, uh, try to get uh, a little bit better image. 
and it definitely does uh, bring it closer, um, but it also increases the, uh, the atmospheric disturbance. Um, yet the, the photos didn't turn out too, too bad. Uh, we'll see here as soon as we get to the, the processed image. Uh, it should be right about now. And uh, that's not too bad. And then it gets a little bit better. But as I said, um, you always try to take more, uh, more images than you, you need and then uh, process from there. Um, that's uh, kind of a standard uh, for, for doing this kind of thing. Anyhow, um, just figured I'd share these with you guys. And uh, it is a learning curve for me. So every time I, I go out, I, I find some new quirk or something interesting. And uh, it, it takes a little while to get, uh, get your head around some of these things. Anyhow, those are the images. Take care. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, and share. Clear skies, everyone. Bye for now.